Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be building this mini RHIB or rigid hull inflatable body boat. It is very nice. But before we get into this video, here's a list of people who subscribed to my last video. If you subscribe to this video, in the next one you will be featured. By the way, I also have a um, Discord link and merch in the description and Roblox group. So, a little bit of an overview, it uses no motor locking whatsoever. And I'll show you how I do that later. Uh, so it's got these all these angled cylinder bits. It's got a moving, uh, moving back bit. There's nothing underneath it at all, uh, and yeah, it's very cool. It can go like this, and it also bobs up and down like it actually would. You can also put on the smoke behind it, and there we go. Smoke behind it, and you'll see it will create like a little trail. And you can also turn it by turning the back bit. And yeah, it can also do a bunch of jumps of, over there, and it's just kind of a nice accessory or just a, like a main boat to a big boat. Okay, so that's it for the overview. Now let's do the actual tutorial. Okay, so I'll be teaching, I'll be teaching you through. So let's start at the end here. So we'll get a uh, cylinder. Actually, no, it's a it's a half bit. So you get a half cylinder two. You come to whatever you want, every place you want. Note that it will be a bit further back. We'll load in. Let's start over here, and you put two half cylinders like that, uh, and the color palette here will be 40-40-40 to make a nice little uh, black color. Uh, uh, a tip I would like to say is that don't use absolute colors. So like if uh, you don't use black, full black, this because then it just kind of it it ruins some of the aesthetics it can have, uh, and also like the shading stuff. So then we've got to get two cameras. Come back. And there's one across in the middle. This is one, two, three, four. Uh, so one, two, three, four. And then on the other one, you're going to make it face backwards. But also, it needs to face forwards with the uh, dot in the top right hand side, or the top left hand side if you're looking at it this way. Okay. Uh, and then be. Yeah, that's that for that bit. And you're going to have two. Uh, just camera pillars. Doesn't matter which way these, these ones are orientated. Like this, two camera pillars behind it. You're gonna have one. You have two cylinders behind the bottom bit. Also color them in 40, 40, 40. Then it's also going to be a ball, a half wall. Put that, put them behind that, and also a trail just to add like a little bit more pizzazz to it. On two, one, two, just on top. What I like to do, I use, I like to color this in like that. Uh, I did this. I did kind of the same thing in my mini helicopter t uh, video, which is kind of the same thing uh, with the tracks. Uh, so that's uh, that. So this top bit, I think, is 60. Yeah, so 60, 60, 60. You cut these uh, top trail bits in like that. Okay. This is a relatively short tutorial, by the way. Uh, and then what you do, you get a camera. There's two top right uh, camera. Uh, it doesn't matter which way these two top ones are orientated, but on the bottom, it needs to be facing forwards with it in the top right. So, like I saw, like you saw there, it was in the bottom left or bottom right, and now it's in the top left. So you see the top right of the thing if you're looking straight this way. Okay, uh, and then you get a half wedge. Put that right there. I think yep. Halfway right there. So it's one. Is it one, two, three, four, five? Okay. So then it's one, two, three, four. And on the sides, it's just carrying that on. So half wedge down. One, two. Actually, no. It's like this. There we go. We can all color this in again with the black color, like that. Uh, and then. You get a sign. Okay, this is kind of off the patrol boat that I did. You get a no a sign. Uh, just set it to so you can't see the top bit. Uh, yep. Okay. And it's like this. Just place them like that. And then what you can do, you can change the material to diamond plate. Oh, there's a weird bug. Diamond plate, diamond plate, diamond plate, and then. You can just color all that in. Like this. Okay. And then you get a 
a half triangle wedge, make it face up, and place it in like this. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, that is all good for the first bit. Now we're going to carry this back. So one, one, two. So half cylinder two. On the back here, so we go one, two, three. Two, three. Yep, one, two, three. And then bring one back, but leave a bit of a gap after the third. One, two, three. Little gap. And then one more. And then just carry this side on. Like this. Put this all in. Okay. That. All right. So, now what you want to do, you want to get a half wedge. Uh, half wedge in the normal wedges section. Like that. And then color, in with it, color it in with that 60. Like that. And you get a half wedge down. Oh, that's scuffed. On the top, right there. Last material. And there you go. And then below it, you get a, another half wedge. You make it so it's like this. Uh, color that in. Wait, no, not with the 60 color. It's 40. Move where I'm sitting. Okay. And then you get your main pilot seat. Just delete this. Main pilot seat. Oh, not backwards. Like that. Uh, then you get a half wedge, another half wedge, like so, 40-40-40. Uh, also I like to, also I did, well for this one I did also put a trail there. And let's do the same thing what I did last time, which is just adding a bit more kind of variability with the actual thing to make give it a bit more detail. Okay, so you want to copy these. So, A, D, speed one, that's all, this is all the same, servo, yeah. Uh, it's, it, all you do is just change the keybinds and change it and make sure it's on servo mode. Uh, so, actually I'll do this, so, there's motors up here. So, get motor two, make sure it's A, D, and then just change the servo and it'll do it all the rest for you. Uh, you put it behind the main pilot seat with the little dot facing forwards. Uh, you can colour that in, like so, and you get a half wedge in the half block section, and kind of make this kind of pattern. Actually, no, not that, not the back bit. Uh, you get a half wedge down, and you use that to make it so it extends out a bit more and make that 60. Okay, and then you get a uh, half cylinder two place it like that so then it's like this so then the rounded bit is facing towards the uh, motor and below it you get a half wedge place that one underneath and now you've got the base for the motor I'm just going to colour this back in oh not that uh, fix it like that okay uh, and you can get a sign no not a sign a trail put it on the back do the same thing we did last time. There and there and uh, propellers. Water propeller, just normal water propeller for this. Underneath, uh, increase power W, and then just uh, click it to on and off mode. Okay, and you want to get a half block or half the yeah, half block wedge, and make kind of like a little point at the end here. Go like that, like that. Okay, that is looking good. And then it's just for the final uh, edge bit, which is fun. Okay, so actually, what I want to do here is so get a text one times two, and make sure that configure to edit is is uh, blank on the uh, thing because lots of people sometimes have to struggle with it. So like with the flying band uh, tutorial I made. Uh, they struggled with uh, the thing where I connected the doors. Um, and yeah, so doing a bit more in depth this time. Then you get a camera, place one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then you do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, back. 
And what you can do here, you can just uh, make them basically disappear. So copy that, copy that. Okay. Uh, and then you get this one. So this one's a bit more specific. So this first camera, make sure that it's facing backwards with with it in the top right. So like I did it wrong, so it's in the bottom left. Uh, top right, like that. Face backwards. Same on the other side. Uh, top right, same on the other side. Doesn't matter with the rest of them. It's like this. Uh, just make it kind of like a hook here. So it arches over. Uh, like this. Okay. And you also want to have it on the bottom, like this. And you also want to have it underneath, or two cameras underneath, for just a, a, a extra buoyancy. Like that. Okay. Uh, and then you just want to carry on this camera once, like that, leave a bit of a gap. Carry it on, leave a bit of a gap. And put it down once. So in overall, you have this shape, which is uh, two, one up, two, gap, two down. Okay, and then you want to get a trail, set it to toggle, that, and that. Uh, do the same thing that we've done before. Let's go color that bit in. Uh, color, and 6660, that, and that. Alright. Now what we do, we'll get car on this back bit. Or is it just okay? So it goes back one more. So then we get a delta wedge, half delta wedge. Just gonna put it underneath there, so it's uh, in line with. Or well, this is uh, straight behind the thing. This and this, and then you get a propeller, water uh, water propeller, two, and you just set it to on and off mode. You make it so it's like that, with the propeller coming out the back of it. Uh, and if you want, you can add more propellers here, like side to side like this. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a snow pipe. Or you, if you don't have the snow pipe, you can use a smoke pipe. And all the settings are the same. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to get a... I'm going to just use my snow pipe, because it looks a bit better. Uh, and just leave it like that. Set the bottom. Oh, the bottom, set that that. What I want to configure it to R. R. Size maximum. Uh, yeah. Size maximum looks best. Okay. Alrighty. So, next bit, the final bit, is or well, the final building bit, is to, uh, so carry on this switch that's one, two, three, and across. So, carry on from this back bit, one, two, three, and across one, and up two. Like that. Okay, and then you can just do that on the other side. Just carry it over. No, that needs to go over one more. Like that. So you got one, two, three, across and up. Uh, just colour this in. I usually like to use red. Uh, and then just put helium. So they just disappear afterwards. So now, finally, all you have to do... Uh, by the way, you'll have to do this every time you spawn it in. But this is, this is because there's no motor locking whatsoever. So... You want to select this camera, and you want so you selected it, and then you want to click the front of this, and you should see that it changes. So you see this camera here? Watch it. There. Uh, you want to and you want to focus it on this bit, and then do it on the same on the other side. So get this camera, the front camera, and put it on this half ball. You should see it. Click to that, and then you want to get this front bit here. You select it. And you want to configure it to this back wedge here, and you should see it turn around like that. And then the final bit is these two. You want to get this, and you want to put it onto each side of the red bit. That. Oops, I forgot. So this here, and this here, and then you do a half ball like that, and like that. There we go. And then you colors in, 40, 40, 40, and then you should be good to go. Okay, so now you're in the water, you're done. So you can see it can, it, can, it does whatever it's supposed to do. It should be a boat. Uh, and also, just the key binds will be linked in the description. So, or just quickly now, there's forwards, which is W, uh, left and right is A, and D, 
And then you also have turning the smoke on and off like this, which is R. So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, please like and subscribe at 10,000 subscribers, which we're quite close. I think I'm about at 9,840. Uh, I'm going to be doing a face reveal. I'll be doing some uh, face reveal videos. Also, don't forget that there is a Discord server, Roblox group, and Roblox merch in the description. So, yep, that's pretty much it. Bye, guys.